A few kilometers south of Mongu, of Western Province, you'll find the Fuller School of the Visually Impaired. But when you find it, be assured of a heartbreak because of the state of the school. The school which accommodates orphans, vulnerable and rejected children in society, does not have enough beds, forcing the majority of the pupils to sleep on the floor on these finished mattresses. To assist the school, the new apostolic church has donated assorted items to the school. We chose the Fuller School for the Visual Impaired for this donation because we thought of the special needs of our children, our dear children, who are at this school. And we hope this donation will help in some way answer to some of the challenges our dear children and management are facing, even just for a short time. Though grateful to the help given, school deputy head teacher is still appealing for support from sympathetic members of society. One of the well wishers who can come in and give help to the pupils that are at this school. Because in most cases, their parents do not, do, they, I, I think they cannot even help them. If they are not abandoned or they are opened, then they are vulnerable. They cannot help themselves. Henwood Foundation Executive Director, Tevo Yuvai, is also calling on education stakeholders to help the school. These children have got challenges. They are challenged in one way or another, but again to bring them in a situation where the, the, the environment is not suitable for their learning, it becomes very difficult. So on behalf of Henwood Foundation, Zambia, Malawi and Zimbabwe, I would like to appeal to well-wishers in the country, those that have something to help, let them come and help this school. Today help has been rendered to the school but more must be done by government and other stakeholders to help the Fuller School of the Visually Impaired. Lloyd Kapsa, Movie TV News, Sefula, Mongu, Western Province.